Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So it's Friday morning currently and I thought I would film another day in my life. Just checked on my account and it said the last time I uploaded was a month ago, which is so bad. I don't know why I let it go this long, but there's so much I need to catch you up on. But today there's a lot of work that needs to be done, a lot of like admin-y kind of tasks. So if it's boring, I apologize, but I know that some of you like to see what I get up to it stay in my life. So I'm gonna share that with you. And I've got a new planner. I bought this one from, um, she's a YouTuber slash entrepreneur. She just owns so many businesses and does so many things. And her name is Grace Beverly. And um, I've been seeing ads for this ever and she, I've, I've heard her talk about it. So I thought I would purchase it because I feel like I've been in a little bit of a rut recently. I don't know if it's just because it's halfway through the year and I've kind of lost track of my vision and goals and stuff that I've set. So I think I really just wanna get back on track with things. And also I saw one of my friends um, recently posting a TikTok series called Reset My Life in 30 Days. And her name is Tiff, if you're watching Tiff, hi. But I just find her amazing, like the way she does her content and everything. I'll actually link her down below in, in my description box. But yeah, that really inspired me and it inspired me to kind of just reset my life. And I think I really need that right now. So I don't know if I should turn that into a series on YouTube and I kind of like take you along on my journey of like making new habits and resetting the way I do things. But I think that could be interesting. Let me know what you think. But yeah, anyway, I've written my to-do list for the day. Where is it? This one here. So, so like here is kind of my timetable, things that I need to get done. Um, all go here. A few things to do, like I said, like admin -y tasks. So there's one website where I need to switch the domain over for them. There is another one where I need to make a few um, adjustments on the website, which is already live. And then do some like business cards and email signatures for one client. And then there's another client that I have that I need to make some edits for as well. I've created this like hero animation for, I'll show you that when I get to that point in the day, but there's an animation where it's like a scroll animation and like things open up and it's it was a lot of effort. It was definitely a labor of love, but there needs to be a few more tweaks on that. So I'll fin finish that um, today. And then, oh yeah, I feel like I haven't told you guys this, but I am in the process of transitioning from having a business on my own to going into an agency with one of my good friends, Ro. And I'm very excited. It's been a process. It's always been in the back of our minds, but I just, it just feels like now is the time to go in and do it. So behind the scenes, we've been doing the branding and we've been doing the website. So that will hopefully launch by the end of July. And I don't want to give too much away or give you too many spoilers, but that will be something that I'm very excited about. So definitely stay tuned for that one. I will obviously share more information when it's available and I might give you some sneak peeks. I also have a call at four with a potential client. And yeah, I have on my to-do list as well, write out some goals for next month. So let's see if we can get around to doing all of that. If not, I mean, I'm gonna try my best. So let's see. Also, I realized because I haven't filmed in so long, I haven't showed you my new changes to the house. I think I showed you the kitchen last time, but since then we've kind of redone the whole living room, we've done the flooring. So I'll show you that as well. Also, what else? I feel like I have, I've have done so much since the last time I filmed. I went to Ibiza for a holiday. I might insert some like nice little clips here, but that was fun and refreshing to kind of take some time off work. Although I was, like thinking about work the entire time. So that's also not good. I need to like switch off, but I think in July I'm gonna take a full week off work and I'm just gonna relax and force myself to take a break. But yeah, I am just going to quickly show you the new layout of the house and then I am gonna get straight into work because like I said, there's a lot to do today. We got herringbone flooring put in. So you guys have seen the kitchen already. Um, this is the dining space where I was just filming, so my tripod is there, my laptop. This way you'll see the whole living room. I actually built this because I couldn't find one that I really liked. Well, I did find one that I really liked that was pretty much exactly like this. Um, but it was £2,000 and I just could not bring myself to spend that much money. So I made it, I bought some wood from Etsy and then some like clamps and wood glue and it came out really nice. So that's how it looks. Um, 
I really love this little book stand and it's just like a really nice book that I like for interior design. Little lamp situation here. And then these are all from Ikea. We built them and put them together. Yeah, this is our new couch as well. So comfy. And then this huge like canvas painting I got and for the longest time I just wasn't sure about it if it like stole the attention of the room. But it's grown on me and I really like it. of hours now and I've got most of the admin -y kind of tasks out the way so the um, website domain has been updated I actually might show you the website that I did because I think the last video I did I showed you the design phase so it'd be good to show you how it all looks now live on the side with the animations and everything um, it's more of a simple site, like I mentioned in the last video. And then, hmm, what else do I have left to do? Okay, so I've got quite a few tasks and it's like almost midday now. Um, so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to prioritize some things. I'll show you the website now that I have just changed domains over. So you can see there's little animations. This is like a scroll trigger, so the lines kind of animate as you scroll. Um, the founders, so when you hover over it, it like shows more information about each founder. And then you can go on to all the founders on this page and there's just more down here. Um, and then back to the homepage. And then the um, founders of the VC. And then we've got the rest of the team members here. So like I said, very simple and just, they wanted like a dark, minimal feel. It suddenly got really dark outside, so sorry if the lighting's changed or gone a bit bad, but I thought I would show you, I don't know if you can see that here, but I'll show you the website that I have been working on, just the intro animation. And it's not usually the style that I design in, but I guess it's a, a new challenge for me. So I, um, had a client that wanted something that was very interactive and like immersive and felt like you were getting an experience when you landed on the site. So we came up with this kind of intro animation. So as you can see, this is just the starting image. And then as I'm scrolling now and as you scroll, you'll see the things start to move from the side, the birds kind of fly in and then you get into the actual website. So yeah, that is what I'm working on today. There's still a few things that need to be changed, but the client has asked if we can make this water move, um, which I don't actually know. I mean, I'm gonna try. So that's what we're gonna try and do today. If not, we'll just keep it as is. finish up the task for a client there is one more thing I need to do which is setting up a Thrivecart account for my client and setting up the products that she wants to be selling on her website which I said I would help her set up um, but I am quite new to Thrivecart backend so that's going to be a learning curve but I've just gone through it before and like had a look at the different steps and it looks pretty straightforward so I think it should be fine but yeah I just need to collect some info from her and I'll probably set it all up on Monday next week. But yeah, I'm gonna make some lunch now. I'm gonna make some dumplings, something really easy. My brain is feeling pretty fried at the moment after like ticking off so many different tasks all morning, but let's eat and get re-energized for the rest of the day. I 
added some soy sauce and some like crispy onions and spring onions to make it a little bit nicer with some chili flakes. So I'm gonna go and eat this and then get back to work. It's currently 2.30 in the afternoon. It's been like an hour since I had lunch and I've honestly just found myself scrolling through Instagram, getting really distracted. And to be honest, this whole week has been really hectic with work. It's been very stressful. Um, and it's starting to feel like, like I'm getting burnt out a little bit. So I think I've made the decision to take the rest of the day off work. I do have a call at four. That's fine. That would just be a really quick call. But I think because I've done everything that was urgent this morning, I'm just going to take it easy for the rest of the day. And what's the point of running your own business if you can't make decisions like this and take some time off when you need to? But I just thought instead of getting back to work, I would kind of share with you my plans because like I mentioned, I'm transitioning from running things by myself to now working with someone else and going into more of an agency model, which has been interesting and overwhelming, but in the best way possible because I'm very excited for the next step and I think I'm definitely ready for it now. So we're definitely really in the back end, having late night calls, really hustling, um, trying to make things work and doing the branding and the website and the marketing. I think also in the back end of my business and in the agency, I want to change up my services a little bit and not really, well, with the agency, we'll be offering new services, but in terms of website and branding, which I'm currently offering now, I have definitely had like a mindset switch with how I'm offering things because up until now I've been very focused on doing really custom work where it is taking a very long time to get any sort of branding done, any sort of website done because of the fact it's so custom and the processes allow for many different revisions and the client takes a while to get back to me with feedback and if I were to change anything in my business and the services that I offer it would be the length of time the projects take because the more they drag on the less motivated you get for them and I didn't really know the best way to do that but I have since taken a course on how to offer intensive um, branding and website services so instead of having a custom project that takes three to four to five months really streamlining that process and having the branding process be done within three weeks but the designing done in a day so that would be like for a branding project and then the website project having that condensed into a week and then still keeping those big custom projects but charging more for those so it's kind of a win-win because they have the option so if they don't really have a bigger budget they can opt for a smaller branding intensive project or a website project um, and if they do have the budget and they're ready for it in their business then they can do more of a custom project which takes a little bit longer but is a lot more money and both are profitable for me both um, make sense for the business so that's definitely what I am focused on offering I just feel like I've been in a bit of a slump not really knowing my next steps but now I'm starting to see things a little bit more clearer. I know I said I wasn't gonna do any more work. I'm technically not doing work. I'm kind of really interested in this because my laptop is running out of storage and I have one terabyte of storage on my laptop and this should not be happening. And I think it's actually from all the videos that I've been editing. So I should probably run Final Cut Pro through an external hard drive, but I just love how fast I'm able to edit through the laptop. So I don't really want to do that. But what I did find out was that there's a thing called Google Drive for desktop. So I'm going to go and search that. And what I'm going to try and do is put all of my files onto Google Drive for desktop. And it kind of looks like it's part of your computer. Like it looks like the files are in there. You don't have to go into Google, go into Google Drive, try and find everything. It looks like it's like a native part of your computer, if that makes sense. I honestly can't believe I've just discovered this because it just makes me feel so organized. I've just spent some time kind of like going through my folders, but it literally just looks like part of my computer. I'm actually going to spend some time organizing everything, uploading files onto there, like my mock-up files and just client projects hanging around because my my um desktop is so stressful it's giving me anxiety look at this oh my god i can't believe i've let it get to that i think that's probably why i've been so stressed this week 
But yeah, I need to really just take some time and just put everything on there and make it really organized in different folders. And I think that's gonna relieve some stress of mine. But for now, I don't really have time to do that anymore because I've got a call in eight minutes with a potential client. So we'll see how that goes. And then straight after that, I am going into London and getting some dinner. So I'll take you along with me.